Hello, welcome to Simcha, a celebration of life. I'm Nikki Wellman. Each year, the South African Jewish Report hosts the Jewish Achiever Awards, which honors members of the Jewish community who have excelled in business, entrepreneurship, empowerment, philanthropy, and the arts. This year, the awards received over 200 nominations, and we went along to capture all the glitz and glamour of this prestigious event. My name is Howard Feldman, and as chairman of the board of the South African Jewish Report, it is my honor and privilege to welcome you to this year's Jewish Achievers Dinner. It started some 13 or 14 years ago, where, where the Jewish report was decided to, to look to honor some of the members of our community that had contributed. And uh, the Jewish report felt this was a very, very good fit because, because as, a, as a Jewish people, we're very, very community oriented. And uh, we very, very much focused on how our community is growing, how people are giving back to the community. And there's also a tremendous amount of work that's going on from within the Jewish community to the broader community, to the non-Jewish community. And, and we felt that, this, that these awards was one way of giving recognition, of inspiring. And I think, I think to me that's one of the most important aspects of the Jewish Achievers Awards is that it's inspirational. When you walk out of this evening and you see what people have, have achieved on a business, from a business perspective, from a humanitarian, from a community perspective, you see what people are able to give back just by sheer determination, it is absolutely inspirational. And that is the point of these awards, is to inspire, inspire, inspire. The winner of the Helen Suzman Lifetime Achievement Award is Alec Bopnik. This award rounds it, all, rounds it all off and coming a few days before my 80th birthday, I could not have wished for a better present. I feel terrific. You know, it makes it worthwhile. I think, uh, you know, to be in here with so many people, it's obviously uh, an award which is very sought after, and to have achieved it, as I said in my speech, I've achieved other awards, but this one tops the lot. It now gives me great pleasure to announce the Jewish Achiever for Arts, Sports, Science, and Culture Award. And the winner is Professor Barry Schaub. It's been really an immensely gratifying experience. Uh, and I'm, I'm very grateful for the opportunity that I've had. And this is close on 40 years of a career that I've been able to work in public health and make a contribution uh, to our nation's public, uh, to our nation's health. Uh, and even more so to serve the country as a proud member of this wonderful, let me stress this wonderful, wonderful uh, Jewish community. No, I think it's a, a very humbling experience. I think it's been a, a, a very, uh, rewarding spirits the end of a career and it's been a long career it's almost 40 years so it was uh, particularly important for me to get recognition from the Jewish community uh, I'm a very proud Jew and I think uh, and I think it's a very wonderful com uh, community so I think this combination has had special deep emotional meaning for me the award that I have to announce uh, of the Jewish Achiever community service is Gerald Leisner. Over the years of fundraising, as I've had to do, has provided me with two totally separate sensations. On the one hand, I've had many sleepless nights concerned with monthly cash flows. That's the accountant in me. The other extreme is feeling great when a donor agrees to a substantial contribution. That's the salesman in me. I think that I've been able to bring to my community work what I've learned in business and from our profession. And the other way is very important. Dealing in community has been very good for my business career. So I think it works both ways. Um, as I said in, in my acceptance speech, I've also been very, very privileged to have employers that have been very, very helpful as far as I'm concerned. I've always been employed. So I think it's worked quite well for me. 
uh, every now and again, I mean, there's a need as well, so I mean, that helps. But, I, you know, I've enjoyed everything I've done, so, you know, for me, it's been quite a nice ride. The award goes for 2012 to the Moschau family from Durban. Together with Anna, we have a family that I am so proud of. And the honour that you bestow upon us tonight <laughs> is very, very much appreciated. It's a good thing I'm not emotional. <laughs> My middle name is Hillel, who coined the phrase, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And although that's now a good Christian saying, it actually started with uh, our famous Rabbi Hillel. And that's the way the family has been over all the years. And the name Moshal means two things. In Hebrew, it can mean a governor or a ruler, but it also means example. And I've always been brought up that the name means that we have to set an example. And that's what we have tried to do. in the country attract the who's who of Jewish business and society as much as the Jewish Achiever Awards that honor consistent achievement in a number of fields. These awards are designed to honor achievers in the field of community and cultural development, to recognize humanitarians, to reward innovation and initiative, and to value enterprise and expertise. The Jewish community is, is quite a small community and it astounds me how many leaders and visioners we foster year on year. And it makes me proud to be able to give this award to, tonight to another great achiever. And the winner is Johnny Goldberg of Global Business Solutions and Mark, St and Mark Sternberg of Spark ATMs. Even though this award tonight is for individual entrepreneurship, I accept it on behalf of our team of over 100 people who have together built Spark ATM Systems. I think the biggest thing for me is um, to take this trophy and the accolades and tonight's experience back to my team in Cape Town tomorrow when I fly back in the morning and to show them that uh, you know, a small company, a startup in Cape Town can really punch above its weight in the country in a sector that's dominated by the big banks. Um, and we can really show our way and, uh, and deliver the goods. This award really, I must honor my father who passed away uh, three weeks ago. And it was a as a result of working in my dad's pharmacy that I learned the few skills that I do have. I think part of being an entrepreneur that where you want to grow a number of businesses, you can't be greedy, you've got to be able to share, and you've got to be able to guide. And I've just been extremely fortunate. I've, I like people, I interact with a range of different people, different cultures and religions, and I think that's what's helped me build my various business entities. The winner of the 2012 A Jewish Achiever APSA Unlisted Company Award goes to Solwyn Smith of Four Good Group and One Property Holdings. In the qualifying interview of this pass, I was asked why I should be nominated for this award. My answer was to do with responsibility. I believe in sense of corporate responsibility is concerned with the success, succession of the next generation and with imparting the lessons and skill that we, as the leaders of the Jewish enterprise, have acquired onto our future business leaders. I think the bottom line of it is, is the feeling of achievement of the starting a company with the team and people and feeling that we all manage together to actually get to that point and the award is actually a point and a pinnacle that just expresses and gratitude and the recognition for all of us as a team to get to that point. You know, there's nothing like an evening at the Jewish Achiever Awards to leave one feeling, I think, tremendously inspired and tremendously humbled by the achievements of others. And I know that as a young South African, you know, I leave this evening uh, with a tremendous sense of both 
So for the last time tonight, if we could get everyone to just congratulate all the nominees and all the winners for uh, just being real leaders and inspiring an entire community and entire country. The winner of the Jewish Achiever APSA listed company is Asher Boba. I'm very humbled with this, with this uh, award, and it is probably for, for, for UH, for the, the people in, in UH, the organization that I, I work for. Uh, if there is anything that I deserve, is a little bit of acknowledgement about a little bit of, uh, of courage maybe that I have. And the courage is, is to hire people who are much better than me. It's to give them the freedom and the space to do that that they know how to do and support them in, in doing so. And as we say in UH, to have the, the courage to say no to the good ones so we can keep a space for the excellent ones. Congratulations to the winners. Really a remarkable bunch of people who've both been nominated and won this evening. And next year, there'll be even better nominees, even better winners. It's incredible to see that this year we had more than 200 nominations for the awards. And each year the competition just gets tougher and tougher. Well, that's our show for this week. Thank you so much for joining us. And please don't forget to tune in same time next Sunday. As always, we'd love to hear from you. So please find us on Facebook at Spirit Sister Productions Network. And if you've missed any of our previous shows, you can find them on our website at www.spiritsister.co.za. As always, from Uniki and the team, shalom and have a safe and peaceful week. <laughs>